Aries, hey, how are you guys? Aries, welcome to your love messages for the end of April of 2022. So these messages are roughly going to cover the last 10 days of April for all placements of Aries, including those of you who may be dealing with Aries as well. All right, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Messages in love, romance, and relationships for Aries. We're going to pull an oracle card and then we will use the tarot to clarify around it for the end of April of 2022. All right, let's get one more shuffle. All right, Aries. So you have many loves, okay? So you have many loves coming out. Now, for you, Aries, I definitely feel like this could be saying that right now you could be casually dating, okay? You could be, um, you know, you could have a couple of different people that you're seeing or that you're talking to, you know, you know. Um, but also, Aries, this could be saying that you do uh, have a certain level of experience. You are a very experienced lover because you've had many different experiences in love, okay, Aries? So that is like the energy that you're having during this time, okay? Um, I think Libra had that same energy, all right? So if you have any Libra in your chart, uh, check that as well. You know, watch that message as well, okay? Um, but usually when I see this, it does make me feel as though, you know, Libra, you have, uh, you know, you have had a lot of experience in love. I mean, I, did I say Libra? I meant to say Aries. You have had a lot of experiences in love, Aries, Okay. Um, and they have all led you here to this point, okay? So let's go ahead and look at your tarot messages and clarify this. Because Aries, this could mean that you might have like different, you may have different love interests right now that you are entertaining, okay? So like I said earlier, the first time, like you could be dating casually, you could be entertaining, you know, different people. It doesn't feel like you, for some of you, it doesn't feel like you have anything like really monogamous going on with any one person in particular. Um, you know, they all could be potential people. They all could be potential lovers, you know. All right, let's go ahead and clarify. Okay. So we have the three of cups. The three of cups, the ace of pentacles. Strength. And then the prince of swords. Okay, Aries, you know what I feel here? Um, and then under the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, you know what I feel here? I feel Aries, someone, <clears throat> someone is mustering up the energy and mustering up the strength to be able to communicate something in you. I think Aries, someone wants to come forward to you. They want to be your person. It feels like they are trying to break out of the friend zone, Aries. You may have this person kind of friend zoned, okay? It feels like this is someone that maybe you get money with this person or like maybe you work with this person or like y'all, um, you know, have like different projects or something like started with this person. This person could be coming around during a time where you may be trying to like work on yourself. Maybe you're putting a lot of energy into your own accomplishments at this time. You're like trying to plant seeds for your own growth. Um, and I feel like someone is rushing in with communication that they want to plant seeds with you, Aries. But the thing is, is that um, the thing is, is that they're friend zoned and they've been friend zoned to the point to probably where they, uh, it feels like they probably have been watching you get in and out and in and out of different relationships, Aries, okay? This person has been watching you build a relationship here and then friend zone them, build a relationship here and then friend zone them, and they've been a part of the receiving end of that also, okay? 
So like I said, someone is definitely mustering up the energy to um, to like let them to let you know that like they want to build something, they want to start something, they want to grow something, and um, yeah, it's really hard for them to do it here with the strength energy is what I feel. Okay, it's like a battle. They're battling, you know, should I even say anything or should I not say anything? Okay, in the present energy, we've got the three of Pentacles. Okay, the world. Okay, we got the world here. We have the Princess of Wands. And then the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so Aries, it looks like you're, it's almost like this is a response to that here. These clarifying cards on the out on the corners. <clears throat> Your corner cards are almost like a response to that energy, okay? Um, because it, oops, excuse me, because it does feel like here with this three of pentacles, um, you know, you definitely can see like the base foundation of like something working out with this person. It does feel like you guys already have similar interests. We do have the three of pentacles and, three, and the three of cups. So we do see a very close energy. I feel like you guys have may have completed different tasks before or you may have like completed different projects before, or maybe you've been through very, very similar situations, um, or you've been through a lot of rough situations. You guys have handled them together. So it's like clear, you, clearly you guys know how to have a good time together and you guys know how to, you know, uh, get through the challenging times together as well. All right. And I think that's why this person feels so drawn to you, um, Aries. I think that's why this person feels like it is going to work with you is because they're really looking at you and they're like, OK, Aries is some, somebody that I've been through things with. You know what I mean? And I'm going to go ahead and tell them how I feel. You know, forget being in the friend zone. All right. Um, now, in your again, uh, the on your corner cards here at the top, I have the princess or the page of wands and then the seven of pentacles. So Aries, you're kind of looking at an opportunity here to be like, you know, once they approach you, it's kind of like you kind of look at them and like, well, hmm, well, you know, I don't see any reason not to, you know what I mean? Um, it's almost like that's kind of like your response energy to that. It's just like, well, you know, hey, you know, maybe there is something there, you know what I mean? Um, I feel like they kind of make you see the value in having them as a partner, and that's a part of what kind of helps brings you around as well. Um, with that Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles here, um, they show you, they're kind of showing you their value, or they're trying to present their value to you, Aries, as if you don't see it already, um, so that they can prove, trying to prove themselves to be a worthy, a worthy person. They're trying to stand, they're trying to stand out from the crowd, Aries. Your person is trying to stand out from the crowd. They're trying to be seen. They're trying to be noticed. They have your attention, but only so much of it because, you know, you may be focusing on different other things as well or other people as well. But they're here to command all of it. And they're like, Aries, listen, we've been through this together and we've been through that together. We've overcome things together and we've, you know, we've sown things together and we've reaped them together as well. Like, you know, what about that? You know, what about that doesn't tell you that, you know, that we should be together? And so Aries, it looks like you have a big decision. <laughs> are you going to make this that person or not? Or are you going to go ahead and, and hold on to your options possibly? Let's pull some advice. The sun, your perseverance is rewarded, Aries. I like that. I see this as well. So this is definitely a reward, I feel. Um, this is a karmic reward, possibly. Um, Spirit is proud of you for, you know, maybe holding down and maybe, uh, you know, buckling down, trying to get your goals done, trying to get your dreams off the ground. You know, um, you didn't even know that you had the perfect partner with you, helping you the whole time along the way. Okay the wolf okay beware of who you trust so this is saying that you can't just have any old people around you and maybe this is also why you also friends on a lot of people is because you do have a hard time trusting when it comes to being in a relationship this may be why you hold on to a lot of options okay and then the sphinx 
choose your words carefully. So yeah, make sure you choose your words carefully, uh, Aries, when this person comes to you um, to profess their energy towards you. Uh, because they are like really, really highly sensitive at this time and it's really taking a lot out of them to be able to do this. Um, I mean, Aries, basically just don't be an asshole. I mean, <laughs> I don't think that you have a reason to be in fact, I feel like, you know, this person is, like I said, they're presenting themselves to you. They're letting you know, like, Hey, Aries, this is what I have to offer. You already know most of it, but let me tell you how I can offer this way or how, let me tell you how I can offer it that way. OK, and Aries, I think that you're going to look at it and you're going to say, you know what? I think we can benefit from actually being together. This is like Aries, this opportunity with this, whoever this person is, is like it has an opportunity to um, not only benefit you uh, monetarily, but also it benefits you um, on the love front as well, because this person already knows you up and down. You've already been through some things together just as platonic friends and not necessarily as um, you know, partners, uh, well, romantic partners anyway. All right, Aries. So I'm excited. I'm excited for this energy for you. Let me know how it's working out in the comment box below. You guys, I do appreciate your time. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in May. Take care.